Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following program contains images of people who have died. Look, I've come up to put the flag up because there's not a flag up here. The Union Jack's flying, the Northern Territory's fly, flag's flying, but not the Aboriginal flag. For Shirlene and a lot of Aboriginal people in Australia, seeing the Aboriginal flag fly is really important. It's a symbol of unity and identity. But it also represents Aboriginal people's fights for land rights and equality. In 1966, Gurunji man Vincent Lingyari led a strike with 200 other Aboriginal people at Wave Hill Cattle Station in the Northern Territory. They set up camp at Wadi Creek and said they wouldn't move until the land was returned to them. It became known as the Wave Hill Walk-Off. Soon after, people across the country started to join the campaign to return land to Aboriginal people. At the time, there was no Aboriginal flag. So, artist and activist Harold Thomas decided to design one that could be used at these protests and represent all Aboriginal people. The colours are really important. The black represents the Aboriginal people. The yellow represents the sun, the giver of life and the red represents the earth and the spiritual relationship Aboriginal people have to the land. I lived amongst the, the redness of the earth. It's so powerful. So as a child, it was part of my identity that to see the, the red rocks and red desert. The first time the Aboriginal flag was officially flown was right here in Victoria Square in the heart of Adelaide on the 12th of July, 1971. And as you can tell, it's still flying today. The flag continued to pop up at events around the country, becoming a popular symbol for Aboriginal people. In 1994, Olympic gold medalist Kathy Freeman caused a bit of controversy at the Commonwealth Games when she wore both the Australian and Aboriginal flag during her victory lap. You're only technically allowed to carry one flag, and the Aboriginal flag wasn't an official flag of Australia at the time. So in 1995, Paul Keating, Australia's Prime Minister, made it official, along with the Torres Strait Islander flag, which had been designed three years earlier by Bernard Namek. Harold says the design of his flag was inspired by his hometown, Alice Springs, and its famous red dirt. But despite that connection, it's never officially flown there. So 14 years ago, supporters started fighting, and now the local council there has agreed to allow the flag to fly here on Anzac Hill, where it will overlook the town that inspired it. Well, the flag represents us as Aboriginal people, and we live in this town, and we think that it should be, it's important for it to be up here, for us to be able to see our flag flying. 